Konnichiwa mina, boku wa Jeremy desu. Yoroshiku o shimasu. And it is Saturday and it is August the 16th. Yeah, I believe it's the 16th. And it's about 3.40 a.m. <laughs> I just finished watching Sailor Moon Crystal episode 4, the Masquerade one. And, <coughs> excuse me, uh, it's pretty, it's interesting. We're starting to see some deviations now, a little bit, just a little bit from the original story. And they're very minor, but at the same time, they're really big. The first one, of course, is we found out that Jedi did not die, as many as expected uh, from the last one. And uh, he is, in fact, still alive. And he is not turned into a stone like he did in the manga. So there's a deviation right there, probably one of the most glaring ones. Um, but it's I like it. You meet all of the Shiteno in this one, Kunzite, Zosite, Nephrite, and Jadite. And they kind of work together, but against each other, if that makes sense. Uh, there's a new tiara, which is great, because that never happened in the original anime series, but it does happen in the manga. And uh, I think that Sailor Moon's attack today was Twilight Flash, even though she didn't actually say the name of it, but uh, it reflects the moonlight and all that kind of stuff. Uh, Tuxedo Kamen, learning a little bit more about him, he now knows pretty much that Usagi is Sailor Moon, which of course did not happen until way in the 20s, maybe 30s, of the original series, in that... Uh, uh, episode with the elevator. Remember that one? Um, so there's parts of it that are kind of sad because, you know, we're not going to get that kind of musical thing like we did with My Only Love and whatnot, but at the same time, <coughs> excuse me, uh, things are really good. Um, the animation continues to be so weird though, like the proportions especially, and what caught my eye today the most was when Motoki and uh, Umino walked into the arcade like, whoa, Motoki looks so weird, but Umino looks really short and just strange, and ah, I don't know, maybe it's just me. But um, it's very, very awkward looking in that sense. Uh, we got, of course, a glimpse of Mokoto, and uh, the next episode preview shows that it is definitely going to be her, just like in the manga. It uh, has to do with a bride. Oh, I'm so sorry. A bride, like, um, like in the manga as well. And, uh, yeah. Luna seemed preoccupied by something. I'm assuming it's probably the whole Tuxedo Kamen thing. Uh, he stole a kiss from a sleeping Sailor Moon today. Naughty, naughty boy. And, uh, but yeah, it was overall pretty good. I liked the, uh, the, the princess dresses that the, that Mercury, or Ami, Rei, and Usagi got to wear. Um, the parasol scene, the famous parasol scene, had to be in there, of course. And, uh, Nephrite shadow in the lady, it, it just, it was kind of weird, but it worked. I mean, it's just like the manga as well. And, what else? I don't know what else, really else to say. Um, oh yes I do. This whole time, all I could be thinking about was, the music is is interesting too. I miss the old transformation sequences, kind of like Seda Ma Kiri or Seda Ma Seda Ma. I know they were cheesy as in as hell, but they worked really really good. And there doesn't seem to be a lot of consistency with the transformation music, even from the previous episodes. Um, oh, I think Mercury's is roughly similar, but Mars's was different. It was more of a repeat of the one that they used for Mercury. They just threw in some electric guitar, kind of, sort of. be interesting to see what they do for Jupiter. And maybe they just use a specific piece just for the first time that it transformed to really drive home, oh, this is the first time, sort of a thing. And I'm going to guess that Jupiter's attack is not going to be Supreme Thunder. It's probably going to be Coconut Cyclone, um, just because they seem to be deviating a little bit from that as well. But that's fine. Um, I could be wrong. Who knows? Anyway, that's my opinion of it for so far. I'm still really enjoying the series. Like I said, the animation is still very all over the place. The transformation sequences get a lot of attention. Um, certain key scenes seem to get attention, so that makes sense. But it would, it would make it feel much more smooth if everything kind of was the same to some degree, if that makes any sense at all. I'm sorry, I'm tired, I'm rambling. I gotta be up at 8 to go to work. 
so I've got about four hours ish. But anyway, it's worth it. I am a fan. Yeah. I'm kind of glad Sailor Moon Crystal isn't on next Saturday because that, of course, will be right dead center in the middle of anime revolution. And I'm going to be so tired and running around and staying at a hotel and oh. The fun times of conventions, but I am looking forward to it, so. Anyway, that's it for now. I will see you tomorrow, maybe, in a video. Check out my Does This Thing Taste Like Shit video, actually, which I just uploaded. And I will see you guys later. Jamatane. Bye-bye.